Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolves reporter Mr. Timothy Spears. Tim, Tim, Leicester nil, Wolves nil. As far as goalless draws go, that was uh, pretty interesting. It was. It was an. It was an interesting game. I thought. I thought overall a, a good point mm. um, against a good team. Um, I know what we're going to talk about in a bit, but I think overall Wolves, Wolves were pretty solid. Yeah. Didn't concede many clear cut chances. In fact, only one or two really. Um, and against one of their kind of rivals for six or seven mm. spot potentially this season, first day of the season. Big atmosphere pre-match, yeah, you know, fantastic. A, a big, big day for Leicester, their first game of the season. To mm -hmm. come here and get a point in the circumstances, not concede a goal, is a good result. But obviously, um, there's a lot of frustration in the Wolves dressing room. Yeah, and let's let's talk about it now then. So VAR, uh, the goal that was ruled off, uh, ruled as a handball for Dendonka on the build-up. Uh, how do you see it? Nuno, very frustrated, isn't he? They all are. I mean, you know, Connor Cody, who's, who's normally quite reserved in these situations, has, has, been, has been critical of the officials. And I think it's just because there's confusion, really. Um, as to the rules, mm -hmm. so in theory, because it's hit Willy Wally's upper arm, it's yeah. hit, and, and the ball has then got in, mm -hmm. it's handball. Um, there was an incident yesterday during the Spurs Villa game where Aldevaro had a shot, it hit somebody's hand, uh, it, did, it didn't, didn't, the ball then didn't go into the net, sure. um, so that, that was accidental, that wasn't given as a penalty. So Because it wasn't a goal? Because it didn't lead to a goal, so right. that, that's, that makes sense to me. However, there are a couple more interpretations of the rule where if there are any kind of ricochets or deflections or it hits somebody else after it hits Willy Bolly, then, then it, should, it should have counted. Sure. Um, and I think that that's what the, the players have obviously all met the referees um, at the start of the season to go mm -hmm. over these new rules. All the captains have gone, Cody's gone. Um, and, the, and Cody, as he's just said, was told that common sense would prevail in these situations. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it hasn't. So if there needs to be quite clear guidelines on mm -hmm. this because Wolves feel they've had a perfectly good goal ruled out. Yeah. No one from Leicester appeals, no one in the stadium no. thought there was any. So, so th there's no clear and obvious error mm -hmm. here from the referee. And I think that's what VAR should be for, really, yeah. to, to counter any, any, any clear mistakes by the referee. It's, it's, it's very frustrating. And if, if the rules are the rules, fine. Sure. But if there's a grey area mm -hmm. over deflections and ricochets and it touches someone else, then yeah. we, we need to know exactly why it wasn't given. And, it, and, it, and it's not just that, it's the big delay. We're all waiting for whether it's going to be. So, do we celebrate now? Do you have to wait to celebrate? Um, not only that, but it gave Leicester a huge boost, didn't it? And the crowd gave a huge boost. And all of a sudden, it's a completely different game after that. It, 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 Wolves, were on, Wolves were on top of that point. They, they came out with them. Um, I thought they were a little bit ragged in the first half and a little bit not quite themselves, but they, they obviously had a bit of a rollicking from Nuno at half. Time. Mm -hmm. They've come out with, with kind of renewed purpose and, sure. and, and pace. They were on top. They, they were they were going. They had less of a throat at that point. Got the goal, so they thought. Mm. Um, and then that very kind of strange minute or two afterwards, when um, when it was disallowed, like you say huge celebrations from Leicester. That kind of pop, burst Wolves' bubble a bit yeah. really. And thereafter, it was Leicester who took mm. charge and looked the more likely winners after that. So it's it's a very frustrating situation. I, personally. It's got the potential to kind of ruin ruin the game as we know it. I mean, mm -hmm. the celebrations after that goal, yeah. um, then completely punctured. You know, yeah. is, is it going to stop fans celebrating and mm -hmm. players celebrating properly? Which, mm -hmm. which the, they're the moments that we all live and breathe this, this game for. So if it's going to stop people celebrating goals properly, yeah. then, then it's a, it's a bad thing for the game, in my opinion. Look, you take that that goal or disallow goal away from it. You've got to think that Jota, two great chances, Jimenez had a, had a really good chance. On another day, they could have won by two or three. They could, they could have done. As in clear-cut chances in the game. I don't think Leicester created much. I thought, I thought Wolves had the better clear-cut chances. Well, Le Le Leicester had the best chance of the whole game through, through Vardy when he's a yard out and the ball's gone through his legs. If, if that goes in, it's a completely different game in the first half. Um, but Patricio's not had a save to make, really. And Wolves... Although it, although it is a good point against against a very good Leicester team away from home, first game of the season, mm -hmm. I think they'll see it as a missed opportunity, not just because of their Den Dunker incident, but also, as you said, there were a couple of good chances. Jota was Jota had the beating of them. Mm -hmm. um, he they were they were frightened of him because he just kept picking the ball up and running yeah. and creating chances from nothing. And it's what it's what we saw him do a lot last season. Um, he looked bang in form. I was surprised he was taken off. Maybe he's got a bit of a knock. I don't know. Um, and Jimenez again, as you say, looked look, look pretty sharp. I thought they were creating chances from out wide, but most mostly via Jota. I thought and Jimenez was a bit off it today. Now, do you think he was sharp? I thought he was a little bit off. He, he, he had a few, he had a few decent moments in the, in the second half. A nice couple of link-ups with Cotroni came on as well, but not quite at his best. I think you could say the same for Martinho, mm -hmm. but they still create chances via set pieces. Um, but the, th the thing for Wolves, 
thing for Wolves was they weren't at their best today. Mm -hmm. They weren't at their very best. Against a much fancied side this season. Yeah, but they can still rely on that that defensive shape mm -hmm. that, that they can do it in their sleep you know they line up in this formation they know exactly where they should be on the pitch and that organisation and that defensive rigidity gets them earns them points when they're not at the best and that's what's happened today and look I think Nuno will be, will be delighted with the clean sheet I want to get more of them this season and with that back three I thought I thought Willie Bolly in particular was excellent Bolly, Bolly and Jota were, were the standouts really I thought yeah I thought Bolly was excellent um, there were no kind of weak performances no, they, no, they, no, they, no. they were giving the ball away a lot in, in, in the first half and um, a little bit sloppy on occasion but I think to, to negate the less the less the threat by and large was um, both very well really, mm -hmm. and they, they didn't look tired, you know, despite six thousand mile trip to Armenia only only a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's a good solid start. Catroni came on to make his Premier League debut. We expect to see probably him from the start. You'd expect on Thursday, and maybe Netta, who was on the bench as well, might see a, a glimpse of him. I won't be surprised if everybody who was on the bench today starts on Thursday. You've got to look at the amount of games coming up. You know, we're. we're 95% certain that they're going to be playing Torino in the next round. Mm -hmm. A huge, a huge game. And Better a do. I bought, and, already bought um, my tickets. Um, a huge game and a very difficult test. So they, they, they need to be ready for that. And you, I, I know, he's, I know, Nuno is very keen on playing his strongest team whenever possible. Mm -hmm. But come on, they're four 0 away at the moment against against a, against a poor team. Yeah. You, you, you've got to use that opportunity. Mm -hmm. You've got a massive game against Man United on Monday. Sure. Come, and then you're in Torino almost certainly mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Thursday after. Mm -hmm. And then you've got Burnley at home, and then you've got Torino at home, yeah. and then you've got Everton away, yeah. non-stop. This is the perfect chance, so isn't it? This is, they won't get another chance. Could you see them resting um, all 11 that started today? Having I mean, some on the big boys in the bench just in case. Uh, it, it, it depends who needs minutes. If, if he feels like, because um, Doherty hasn't had a, a pre-season like the others, you know, we only saw him return on Thursday. So, so if Doherty needs minutes, maybe he'll start. Okay. I mean, Cody just plays every minute of every game, mm -hmm. so whether he will as well. They, they, they won't want to disrupt. Uh, the defence too much. That's what he's tended to do in the past for Carabao Cup and FA Cup games. He'll still play his strongest defence. Sure, sure. Um, but uh, I certainly think yeah, Neto, Catroni, he's, he's got to start for me. Um, Vinagre's got to start. Yes. Traore's got to start as well. Gibbs White, mm -hmm. give these guys a chance. I'm sure that's what they'll do. Leaving the stadium today, what, what's, your, what's, your, what's your leaving emotion? Um, for, I think I think frustration. I, 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 you fancied them to win today, didn't you? I did fancy them to win today and because they're more game ready and game sharp than, than their opponents. and. Uh, that, that didn't quite show through as much as I thought it would, but it's just frustration. If if, if the rules are the rules, fine. But for me, that should be a goal all day long. It should be a goal. Lesson: No wolves, no. For all the post-match reaction, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.